We've recently been part of a report uh, of a, a sugarcane genome that's the first step towards a complete genome sequence. This is what we call the monoploid uh, genome sequence. Sugarcane has been the last of the major crops to have its genome sequenced because it is so complex. It's far more complex in its genetics than other species. It's meant that it's much more difficult to obtain a reliable genome sequence. And the breakthrough has really been working out a way that we can get at that, that we can actually obtain a sequence for something as complex as sugarcane. This will provide really a new platform for sugarcane research internationally, really make a big difference to sugarcane genetic improvement, and really hopefully underpin uh, greater uh, development of the sugarcane industry internationally. So there's uh, a couple of billion tonnes of sugarcane produced in the world, uh, which, which exceeds that of any other single crop. Because of the consumer reaction to, uh, to sugar, and uh, particularly we're seeing in Europe with, uh, with taxes and, and legislation restricting the use of sugar, this is certainly providing us with more incentives uh, to find other products that we can produce uh, alongside the sugar uh, to diversify the range of products that the industry has. Uh, sugar will remain uh, an important product, but really alternative byproducts produced from the plant or things produced from the sugar are increasingly going to be important uh, for the profitability of the sugarcane industry. And that will require uh, a range of different varieties with attributes that suit processing to different types of products. They will include uh, a wide range of products uh, effectively providing a, a biological alternative to oil, allowing us to produce renewable plastics, renewable fabrics, uh, so the biomaterials, as well as the energy products, the fuels and, uh, and other related uh, products. Well, in Australia, it's certainly a platform we're, we're hoping to build on quickly to uh, allow us to go down this path of, of breeding uh, better sugarcane varieties and breeding sugarcane varieties that will suit a wider range of products for the local industry. We've been engaged uh, for the long term in what for sugarcane has been a very long path to get to this point, uh, working for some decades and uh, several groups here in Australia have worked closely with uh, the groups in Europe and North America uh, and uh, really it's been very much an international long-term effort that's got us there. So we're now beginning the next phase of the work with sugarcane. We're going to uh, use the uh, uh, platform that we've got with this first stage genome sequence to develop a fully blown genome sequence over the next year or so, and that work is already progressing. And then we have plans beyond that to extend to all of the relatives of sugarcane and to go out and look at uh, the entire gene pool. And that will be uh, a great resource long term for uh, developing sugarcane for a di more diverse range of end uses. We'll be working with the wild uh, progenitors from which sugarcane was developed and some of their relatives. Uh, the, these include uh, uh, related uh, sugar species but extend as far as uh, things like sorghum which is a distant relative of sugarcane.